Okay, last days. Destination, Dunny Do. Of course, there's some silo art in Dunny Do. I'll talk a bit more about that later. Saturday, 14th October 2023, day 77, 11 weeks. Here's my maths. Hook up, ready to leave the Cootamundra Showground. Big showgrounds here. Big arena out there. Annual show next week. Uh, there were a few in last night. Not a bad little spot. I'd certainly come back here again. 20 bucks, toilet, showers. Facilities are okay if you need them. Today's destination would be Dunny Do. It's a bit of a drive. There's 400 k's in that, so we do need to get cracking. Stop to Kara for lunch. Seemed like a lovely town, very busy, very pleasant looking rose garden as we walked into town to find somewhere to grab lunch and we ended up at Ted's Bakery. Not often today you see someone calculate all the items in their head. We think she got it wrong but she was pretty quick. Wellington, New South Wales, on the way to Dunny Doo. It's been a big day but there's a bit more to do yet. So up through Young, some really old historic towns and some more great crops and from time at times pretty ordinary roads stopped in wellington to freshen up a coffee really nice big park there another one of those old historic towns huge solar farm on the northern side and a correctional facility dunny do's had some new solo art out of it since we visited just after the first lot So the first part was painted in quarter three across the three months of quarter three 2020 by Peter Mortimer on the solos Winks and Winks's jockey Huey Bowman who is from the Dunny Do area or Dunny Do and the trainer Chris Waller. So that's stage one. Stage two or side two is just some local flora and fauna and crops and stage three completed by Daniel Krauss and Jared Darby is basically just Daniel's son. An image of Daniel's son reading a book in a wheat field. And of course Dunny Do grows a fair bit of agricultural produce. Probably got it all there. Sheep, cattle, canola, wheat, barley, all those types of things. Quite the area. So quick walk around Dunny Do. I seemed a lot bikes. And I did see on Instagram a group of folks biking through Dunny Do recently to be honest. I don't mind Dunny Do, it's, uh, we actually stumbled across it years ago when we were driving home from the Blue Mountains. Not sure how we ended up there, but if we're going that way, we usually stop in and visit. Very nice cafe, pub's good, a couple of service stations, get everything you want there. They were going to build a pretty large coal mine there and ended up not doing so. So on the outskirts of town, there's partially started houses, just been abandoned. Quite a shame, really. hotel for dinner good meal I try to get some footage of the silos in differing lights not sure how I went but anyway we'll remember we've been there
That's the way to Newcastle, actually. Among other places, you'll be able to turn off, go up to Cooler, Mullally, Grindor, Gunnada. I don't think the Royal Hotel operates as a hotel anymore. It looks to be accommodation. Parking Dunny do, quite nice, old, but a lot of these places are, however, plenty of space, plenty of room, facilities quite adequate. Would I go there again? Yep, I would. And Durin and Coonabarabran to the right, and Dubbo down that way. Big shell. Mm -hmm. 